everyone, welcome to our channel, Sevilla Trip. A is for Allosaurus. B is for Brachiosaurus. C is for Gryptosaurus. D is for Diplodocus. Gigantosaurus. Scalamines. Hesperosaurus. Iguanodon. Nyaninsia. Kendrosaurus. Stegosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. Velociraptor. Monanosaurus. Yinnong. And Z is for Giceratops. Giceratops. Tyrannosaurus Rex. What's the best my favorite? So for today's video, we will be sharing with you some exercises, tips, do's and don'ts on how we can sharpen the memory skills of our child. Second Corinthians 9 <laughs> Thanks be to God for His indescribable, indescribable gift. For the memory verse, Pablo was having a hard time saying indescribable. He kept saying in double scribable because number one it is long and it's kind of a tongue twister what pa and i did was we explained to him the definition of indescribable something that you cannot explain something that you cannot describe so when pablo learned to process it we divided the word indescribable into three parts in describe bubble and then we connected it indescribable second corinthians 9 verse 15. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. I have been exercising his memory skills ever since he was very young. Find the wall clock. Can I have it? Wow, find the spoon. Okay, here's the pizza. Yes, yum, yum, yum. Wow! Find the black shoes. Yeah. Where's the door? Yeah. Yes, that one. But find the just door. a bit of disclaimer. I am not a professional teacher. These are just my life experiences that I wish to share with my fellow parents out there. And through this channel, I want to be able to build a community wherein we help each other out as we share our trade secrets in parenting and teaching our little ones. I will also be sharing some do's and don'ts so that your child or your children will have fun while learning. If you are new to this channel, welcome! And if you have been to the channel, welcome back! Consider subscribing. If you do like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Let's begin! Number one, having a good memory is a useful tool for your child's development. Number two, good memory skills are helpful for them to do better in school. And number three, we know that not everyone is gifted with a sharp memory. But while they are still young, it is our responsibility to guide them the proper way. So number one, repetition is key. Kailangan pa ulit, ulit, ulit tayo. So kunwari meron siyang isang book na talagang interesado siya, na binabasa mo, binabasa nyo. So in the morning, start reading him that book. And then bago siya mag nap time, pwede nyo rin basahin ulit yung libro. And then sa gabi, so this is what we're gonna read again tonight. Bago siya matulog, say, do you like the very hungry caterpillar again? Through repetition, your child is able to familiarize himself with the words, with the sequence of the story. For the parents naman who are just starting out, kahit baby pa yan, ako, they will very much absorb na lahat ng tinuturo mo. So while bata pa lang talaga sila, itrain na natin sila na ganun. This one. Yeah. How about this one? Yeah. What's the sound of G? And what's the sound of D? D. And what's the sound of C? For cat. What's the sound of a cat? Nani. What's the sound of B? And what letter is this, Pablo? O. Very good. And what's the sound of T? What's the sound of U? Mm. And what's the sound of M? Mm. Mm. Mama. Number two tip. Encourage questions. How come this one, two, three? How come, how come they look like the same body as T-Rex? 
encourage active learning. This is more on engaging your child into discussions, problem solving, role playing. What I do is ask Pablo to make his own example. I'll say some words and then you tell me if they rhyme. Does mat and bat rhyme? Yes, it's rhyme. <laughs> Very good. Water and honor and daughter. Okay. Sun and scum. Why not? <laughs> Use visual aids. Super important because according to studies, that 75% of knowledge comes to us visually. 13% comes through hearing. And 12% comes through taste, touch, smell. Flashcards, memory cards, books. Basta may nakikita sila. Even watch time. But of course, kailangan proper guidance pa rin. Multisensory. Make them touch, make them smell, make them see, make them feel. <laughs> Use all their five senses, just like this one. Hello, where is the lettuce? Yes, where is the strawberry? Where's the banana? Where's the cherry? Where's the pineapple? Where are the peas? Yes, where's the lemon? You drank lemon juice yesterday. It's Asim. There you go. Where is the apple? Where's the kiwi? Yeah, where's the strawberry? Where's the dragon fruit? So there, after niya mag flashcards, paganahin niyo lahat ng kanyang five senses. Kumbaga siya yung practical exam niya. Make it lively! It's green! Okay, get a green one. What's green? From any greens from the bottom. I cannot get it. Try, try, try this one. I'll poke try. this one. Let's just try this one. Bottom as long as part. it's green. Okay. So, para lang may variation. Let's use hand gestures. Yung voices natin, yung parang may taas, buba. Kunwari sa isang book, na-associate nila yung sequence nung story. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Connect experiences. For example, your topic is about vehicles or modes of transportation. Car, train, bus, airplane. Do you remember the first time you rode an airplane? In that way, your child will associate fun and fund memories doon sa mga kinokonect na mga bagay. That will also give them a higher probability of remembering it kung na-experience na natin yun, napagdaanan na natin yun, nasa memory na natin. Make sure they had already eaten. So kung mag-lessons kayo in the morning, make sure they've already had their breakfast. It's very practical. Always prepare a bottle of water beside them. Pinapainom nyo ng pinapainom. Baka nuhuwiwi na rin sila. So, kailangan yung physical state niya maayos din, di ba? Para mas concentrate sila sa lessons nila. Also, very practical. Have fun. Ikaw din sa sarili mo. Dapat na-enjoy mo din siya. And kasama nung have fun is to pray. There was a time that I was too serious about his lessons. Nagiging mainit na yung ulo ko pag hindi niya nakuha. And then that time, I felt so guilty. He prayed because it felt I was too strict. Baka ma-associate niya na kapag lessons time, hindi masaya. I should be happy doing this. And I should make it fun for the two of us. I need to go to the toilet outlet. I hear echo gecko. Galing! Catboy! Dad, my toy. Catboy. I like to play Domino Romeo. <laughs> Is that my dad and my ninja? <laughs> The lesson time should not be too long. I guess 30 minutes a day is fine. Or kung wala kang 30 minutes, 10 minutes, kahit 5 minutes, basta every day meron siyang bits and pieces of learnings for that day. It doesn't have to be one hour na nakaupo. Sabi nila, if you're gonna prepare your child for homeschooling, able yung child mo to sit maximum one hour, something like that. Please don't quote me on that. And everything that I say, I hope you will take it with a grain of salt. Because again, I am speaking from my experience. I just want to help out my fellow parents. So those are my do's and how to boost the memory of your child. But the next part would be the don'ts. Don't overstress or overthink. 
if we think that they are tired, they will be unable to process the information. Kunwari, nakikita mo na na medyo fidgety na siya. Yung mata niya, parang kung saan-saan na, hindi na nagpo-focus. It's okay to take a short break. Break muna tayo. Okay, have some snacks, drink water. Ikaw din, bilang nagtuturo, inum ka din, tayo ka din. This way, pagbalik nila, their heads are refreshed, so they can give you your full attention. If you want to take a break, for primary students, take a break for 10 minutes. For secondary students, 15 to 20 minutes. Number two, don't forget to ask questions. We are so engrossed dun sa pagtuturo natin, nakakalimutan natin. Oops! Wait lang, ask questions, tingnan kung naiintindihan pa nila. I have a question for you. There was a town far from the city. Who lived there? Jewel. Very on point. Provide your child with the opportunity to supply you with knowledge. And you will be also surprised how they see things. Fresh eyes ba? Number three, do not raise our voices pag hindi nila nakukuha. I am guilty of this at first. But, 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 but. Let us not do that. Let's not be too hard on them. You know, there is really a joy in teaching our kids. A lot of parents do not have the luxury of time. But as I said, it does not have to be too long a study time in order for you to impart knowledge on your little ones. The Hungry Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Alright, let's start. I will light up the a little egg on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the one sun came up and popped out of the egg. Came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Mm -hmm. On Monday, he ate one apple, but he was so hungry. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, he mm -hmm. ate two pears, but he was so hungry. On Wednesday, he ate three plums, but he was so hungry. On Thursday, he ate more strawberries, but he was so hungry. On Friday, he ate five oranges, but he was so hungry. On Saturday, he ate one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of fish cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through a nice green meat. So that he felt much better. Mm -hmm. Now, he was not hungry anymore. And he was not a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled the hole and the cocoon pushed his way out and... It was sweet and cold butterflies. <laughs> There. I hope you learned a thing or two. I also have a favor from you. If you think videos like this is helpful, kindly please comment down below if this video has helped you in any way, shape, or form. And we are also in the process of going through the same things as you do. Bear with me if I have not touched on other things, but for me, those are the things that work and do not work. So I hope you do like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share also this video to your friends or family members to sharpen the memory of your child. Subscribe to our channel so we can keep on creating contents like this. Thank you everybody. God bless you all. Happy teaching. Happy homeschooling. Happy online classes everyone. I send you good vibes and we'll see you again on the next vlog. Thank, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more civilian trips. Yeah.